Hello YouTube, Morbid Feast here. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Steam CMD and then install and start up your own Gary's Mod server. So the first thing we have to do is go find Steam CMD. I will provide the link so you're not going to have to go through this. And of course we have to go download Steam CMD. Yeah, man. Once the download completes, close out the browser. Go to downloads. You can right click on it. And if you're running Windows 7 or newer, you can just right click and hit extract all. Click extract. Close the new folder out. Right click on the new folder. Hit cut. Go to computer. C drive. Right click. Paste. Open up the new Steam CMD folder, grant right click on the application, drag that sucker over, let go, hit create shortcut here, and now you have a shortcut on the desktop. Double click on that shortcut, shortcut, not clut, huh. run it, and it'll automatically download and extract out the full packages. To show you what I mean, now that Steam CMD is fully running, we're going to go back to the C drive back to that steam folder and now look voila it's like magic man now you're gonna go back to the C drive right click go to new folder type in GMOD you can name it whatever you want I just do this for my Gmod server because this is a lab machine and I want it to be stupid simple so here we go so now we have CGmod now we're gonna type in login anonymous Now it's logged in. We're going to type in force underscore install underscore dir c colon backslash gmod enter. Now we're going to type in app underscore update 4020 space validate. And now it's going to go through the full process of downloading all the files. This is the same process the App update 4020 validate is how you update the server from time to time. So you will need to log in and run it from time to time to make sure it updates. And this is going to go through the full process of downloading and installing the server files. This is going to take a considerably long time. So I'll see you guys shortly. Alrighty, we be back and it be fully installed. So as you can see, it's now sitting here at the command prompts, just waiting, type in exit. It'll go ahead and close and now your Gmod folder is fully populated. So you grab the SRCDS, drag it out here. Of course, you're going to right click and drag. Let go, create, create shortcut here. Right click, rename. Gmod server. So now we can close this out, double click and start it up for the first time. Now one of the things you are going to have to do is set it up with an Archon password. We're going to leave it on the default settings except for one thing. We're going to change the number of players possible to 12 and then set a simple Archon password. You really want to use a better password than that, but since it's clear text, that's going to be my current password. And we're just going to click Start Server, so now it has an Archon password. It'll actually pull down a few other configuration files and necessary files that it requires for it to even be able to run. And voila, we now have a full-blown server up and running of Gary's Mod. So you see 0 out of 12 players. You can keep an eye on the number of players. You have the server name, which you can actually change the name. 
You have the network type, which is internet, so that way it has full connection out. You can go in here and change configuration settings and look at your configuration. You have your statistics. You can look at players peeing in, out, frames per second, all that good stuff. Players, your bands. There are no bands on the server at this time. And then, of course, you have your console where you can put in commands and do various things. This is basically your command console. This is where you're going to do a lot of work, including bands, ops, and things like that. So that's it. From there, you can connect into your Gmod server and play around. Pretty simple, right? This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.